What's up guys? Saturday morning. It's time to do some work. We are going to address this current sad situation. We need to get rid of all those weeds between the onions and the garlic. And uh, that's where we're gonna lay out our plastic for the garden. And over here, this section from the berm pile over to me, I'm gonna till that all up too. I've got something I'm gonna plant, plant there, um, seed. I'll show it to you here in just a few minutes. And we're gonna get rid of all this stuff. So, time to get her done. Let's do it. All right, this is what I'm gonna plant in that area. Uh, it's a pasture seed mix for, uh, the bag's not right, but it's for my chickens. And on the tag, this is what's in it. I got it from Deer Creek Seed Company. I've never, never done this before, so we'll try it and see what happens. But it's got winter rye, barley, peas, turnips, and Essex seed. Um, you know, it says the seeding rate is 50 to 75 pounds per acre. I've got a 25 pound bag and I've got, I'll be planting well under a half an acre. So, uh, should have plenty and we'll run the chickens on that and let them do their thing. Eating poop is their thing. So, um, then we'll have some delicious chickens for the freezer and uh, next year hopefully we'll have some free fertilizer and move the garden over to that spot so uh, you know just experimenting here but we're gonna try it so I'll get back to you when I've got the soil all prepped okay folks time to play in the dirt get back to you when I got her finished Well guys, we have a little bit of an issue. This happens from time to time. Uh, my soil is so rocky. I don't know if you can see up in there. But there is a rock wedge. Yeah, it's never fun. So uh, usually I can put it in reverse, and drag the tiller a little bit and it'll come right out. This one's wedged pretty good, so I'm gonna have to go uh, Maybe take that tine off and let her fall out. So we'll see what happens. I'll go fix it. All right, y'all. <clears throat> After a little beating, a little prying, and a few choice words, she came out. The problem I have now is if you can see, I don't, messed up the threads pretty good on that bolt. So, uh, I'm either gonna have to go get a new one, or I'm gonna have to go to the shop. I think I bought a couple last year. So let's go find out. Bingo, I was right. I did buy a couple. So we'll just line her all back up. Get that thing on there. Uh, Notice that there was a couple of nuts that were loose on another tine. So we'll fix that up and we'll be right back at it. Yeehaw! Back in action, baby. Let's go finish this up. Okay, guys. So this area here is going to be the pasture, a little mini pasture for the chickens. And I didn't really till real deep, I just wanted to get rid of the weeds and um, fluff up the soil. It's supposed to rain maybe tomorrow, so I'm hoping if I can seed it right before the rain. 
Uh, maybe the rain will beat the seed down into it. If not, if it doesn't rain, I'll probably have to get out of the rake and rake it in a little bit. Either way, it's no big deal. And then get some water on it. This area here, I just wanted to get rid of the weeds. So, but right out here, you can kind of tell. Um, I hit this twice and tilted it as deep as it would go. Because this is where I'm going to lay the plastic for the rest of the garden. And I hope to get to that this afternoon. If I do, I'll show you how I do it. Let's come over here and check out the garlic. It's looking real good. I got five different types in here. Um, need to go between the rows. I'll, it's not wide enough for the tractor to get down, but I can get my other tiller out and the Troy belt and till those weeds under. And I usually just spray along the edge of the plastic is what I can't get with the tiller. But uh, the garlic will grow through. Oh, it's it's grown good right now. The bulbs are grown good, and usually about sometime early June, uh, all this is hard neck variety garlic. So it'll get a seed pod on top, what they call a scape, and I'll go through and cut them off. And uh, actually, you can sell those. I haven't yet, but <clears throat> I guess a lot of people like to put them in stir fries and other dishes for flavor. And they'll all get one, so it'll be a lot of cutting. We'll show you that when it happens. And then you want to harvest it around July 4th. So a couple more months and we'll have us a mess of garlic. But... All right, well, when I get to laying the plastic, I'll uh, show you how I do that. It might be a different video, I'm not sure yet. Thanks for watching.